Hey guys, welcome to the building a WordPress website series. Uh, in this series, we will be building a WordPress website from scratch, and it'll be a uh, web development based blog website with additional functionality. Uh, we'll be integrating a photo gallery, a uh, video gallery, a download repository. So it's going to be more than just setting up a blog. It's going to be um, a pretty full featured website. So chapter one we will mostly discuss the fundamentals of blogging, um, what it is, why people start blogs, um, why it's good to add a blog to your business website, um, stuff like that. And we'll also go over what WordPress is and what content management is because WordPress is not only a blogging platform but it's also a content management system. Uh, we'll be discussing and visiting WordPress.org as well as WordPress.com. Um, WordPress.com is more of a it's a it's a hosted solution, so you can have a WordPress blog without having to install it on your web host and and do all that kind of stuff. But uh, you're really restricted in terms of themes and functionality and um, just access using WordPress.org if you install your own version on your own host you have full access to so we'll discuss that and we'll compare the two um, and, and see what's better for who in chapter 2 we will get our envi local environment set up which means we'll be installing a we'll be installing XAMPP which is an Apache server that has PHP and MySQL and all that all the stuff we need to run a WordPress site locally um, and we'll obviously be installing WordPress we'll be installing version 3.5.1 which is the latest version at this time and then we'll do our initial configurations and we'll have a back office tour I'm, I'm sorry uh, um, a back end tour <coughs> and in chapter 3 we'll start we'll start getting our hands dirty and we'll create some pages um, we'll create our static pages through the CMS and we'll also create our blog categories and, and then start posting and we're also going to going to be setting up forms um, we'll be using quite a few plugins uh, third-party plugins including the contact 7 form which we'll be using on our site and we'll also look into RSS feeds as well. So chapter four, we will be extending WordPress. Um, we'll be looking at plugins, uh, where to find them, how to install them, how to configure them. Same thing with widgets. We'll look at the widget manager and discuss um, widget positions and different themes. Uh, we'll also be creating a image gallery or a, a portfolio gallery for our website using a third-party plugin and we'll also be creating a video gallery that will allow us to to add videos or link videos from certain video sharing websites like YouTube and Daily Motion um, and actually display them as if they were hosted on our site on our server and we'll also be creating a downloads repository where we could have our clients or our website visitors come to our site and um, search for documents like term, terms of service documents or references or, or something like that, any kind of documents. Um, so there'll be quite, quite a bit of functionality on this website. Um, chapter five, in the last chapter, it's gonna be all about themes. Um, we're going we're going to look at where to get themes, how to install and customize them. Um, but more importantly, we're also going to build our own theme. We're going to build a custom WordPress theme from scratch. Um, we're not going to convert in, an HTML theme. We're actually going to just start it from the ground up, create the files, um, do the styling, and implement it. So we got a lot of work ahead of us. Um, I'm really excited to do this and I hope that you guys are too. I'm sure you'll learn a lot. Um, so let's get on with it and thanks for watching.